Hello, what's up? Hi, I'm Piper. I've had another rebel. Today we are doing a makeup tutorial. I think two videos ago it was like a holiday gift guide for friends kind of thing. Yeah, you should watch that. I have so many gift ideas that I think are amazing. But yeah, a lot of you guys commented about my makeup and I was like, thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless, like love you all. And then some of you guys asked me to do a video on it, so this is what I'm doing here. It's a super easy look, just like me. Wait, I just said I'm easy. Oh my god, I just said I'm easy. I'm not easy. I'm a complicated person, actually. One of my trees fell off. Goal for this video is to go from looking like an egg to like a hot egg, like a hard boiled egg, like when it's in the boiling water. That must be so hot. Those poor little guys, they're like, oh my god. What am I doing with my life? I'm like feeling bad for eggs right now. Why? I don't know. We're gonna get started. Before I just need like pull up my bra straps because they like to fall because I have no boobs to like hold everything up, you know? Itty bitty titty committee, hey! Ah! Caught it. First thing I'm going to do is moisturize my face. It is the winter, my face likes to do this thing where all the moisture in it likes to migrate to like land of non-existence. My skin is so dry. When I said land of non-existence, I remember like Mr. Electric from Starkboy and Lava Girl. Do you remember him? I don't know why he's like popped in my head, like he just popped in my head. I'm like, hey, Mr. Electric, what's up? Ow! Okay, so I took my acrylics off yesterday, like I literally like bit them all off. And my fingers are killing me because they're just, these poor little guys, they're really damaged. Just like me. But since my skin is super dry, it likes to make up for all the moisture and oil being lost. It like overcompensates for oil and then it breaks out a ton. And I'm like, great, like let's just like <laughs> wonderful. Let's break out everywhere. Like, why not? I'm using this moisturizer. It's by First Aid Beauty. It's the Ultra Pear Cream. I really don't like it. I say that as I've used like three-fourths of it, but I really don't like it that much. I like to apply my makeup right after I put it on, because if I don't do that, then my face like starts to like crumble. Like the moisturizer is just gross. I wonder how many times in my life I've touched my face. God, so many probably. I should put a lid on this because I always forget to put a lid on it and then it like dries out and then I have to like take my finger and like mix it around. It's just like kind of weird. It also smells weird. Since I'm lazy, I only use a concealer. I use the Bare Minerals. This is not Bare Minerals. This is Urban Decay Naked Skin. I've used this for so many years. I've gone through so many of these. My poor wallet hates this probably because I spent so but my theory behind this is if I wear foundation, I'm still gonna put this on too. So like, what's the point of wearing foundation? Oh God, I'm breaking out even more than I was yesterday. Great, just wonderful, just wonderful, awesome. Mm, love life. I just put it normally in the center of my face, but like now my entire face, oh my God, it's even more, wow. What I like about it is it's like a double-sided applicator and there's a color that's like almost as pale as me. Like this is a little bit darker than my skin as you can probably tell. But like most concealers are like five shades too dark and this is probably like two. Like I used to not put this all over my face, but now I do. Like I kind of leave like some outside parts that I don't need coverage on. My theory is like, well, I'm letting my skin breathe. <laughs> not really. I'm using this brush, which is a mirror. I don't know why I just went like that. I'm like shaking right now. Morphe M439, great, great. I use it every day. Cause I'm way too lazy to dampen my beauty blender. <laughs> Why do people just wear makeup like this? And my dark circles are like darker than my soul, so we gotta cover those up too. Everyone in my videos think I'm like this like hyper positive person. I'm actually like kind of evil in a way. Like I swear I'm not cool. I'm like a lame person. We're done now. Look completed. Oh, oh I'm not fan. Uh. Oh god, that was horrible. I'm using the Benefit Boy Concealer, which is a little bit darker than me, like everything else in my life, because I am the legitimate color of copy paper. Like I'm surprised I'm not that color of the wall yet. It's gonna happen soon. Winter has just begun. I'm not trying to flip you off, but if it happens, it happens. On camera, it always looks so much better. I'm like, thank God, but like I'm Person, you'll see me and you'll be like, eh, 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 what is she doing with her life? I'll be like, I don't know what I'm doing in my life. And you'll be like, yeah, I could tell. Good, thank you for noticing. <laughs> I feel like that's decent. And by decent, I mean like pretty horrible. I hate the feeling of makeup. Like I just don't like it. So I always need to settle like a ton of powder because the feeling of it just, ugh. One time I said that in a video and then I got a comment that was like, then why do you wear makeup? I'm like, cause I like it, honey. Oh yeah, I'm using a beauty blender. It's not damp because I'm lazy. Like I said, how many times can I say I'm lazy in a video? Like probably so many. I always start with my under eyes because there's so many creases under those things. I do this thing where it's like, is she wearing too much powder or is she trying to bake? Like it's kind of like an in-between. It's like, I don't know, which one is she doing? Don't put enough powder to bake, but I definitely put too much to like, just leave it on my face. Like beating my face. Is that why they say beating your face? There's an expression. Is that where that came about? I like Googled all these slang terms recently. I Googled what a finsta is and what sus means. Like I Googled all of them. Why am I lame? I really want to do a teaching my mom slang terms video. This is turning into like a get ready with me. This is not turning into a tutorial, but like it's fine. It's fine, I'm fine. Normally I would do like bronzer now or something, but I'm kind of getting bored. So I think I'm going to go into my eye. I'll bring you closer to me. <laughs> These are my eyes. Sometimes they look blue, sometimes they look gray. I put concealer and powder on them, so I'm not going to prime them or anything because like lazy. I'm using this palette from Too Faced. It's the chocolate bar palette. Best thing about this is it smells like chocolate and sometimes it gets in my mouth and it tastes like chocolate, which is probably the best part of my morning. I'm starting off with this color. It's called Salted Caramel, and I'm using this brush I got in my Ipsy bag. It's called the Smudge Tache Tache. It's by Beauty. 
Chatches? Gatches? La I don't know what, what This is Bean. This is Bean, not Beauty. <laughs> Sometimes you call my dog Bean. But I don't know what this brush is or like I don't know anything about it. I love it though. So I'm picking up. Did I accidentally get a green on there? I think I got a little bit of green glitter on it. Oops. So I'm just putting that into my crease. I like don't pay attention. I go like way overboard and I'm like, oh shoot. Whatever it's like to be one of those like beauty people that like literally can just like blend for hours. I, I get so lazy. And I'm like, okay, I'd rather just have sharp lines. I'm also putting in my lower lash line. Sometimes it makes me look like I'm sick like right now. I'm like, oh god. But I will always fix it a little bit. Hopefully, probably not. But, like if I really look ill, then I will. I love the attractive faces that I make. Do you ever wonder if you're gonna die alone? Like, does that ever cross your mind? Okay, really quickly, there's this color called Amaretto Amaretto right here. It's this one. I'm not using it at all. I just thought I'd mention this. Every time I see it, I think of an armadillo. Every time I see it, I'm like, armadillo? I'm like, oh no, that's not what it's called. <laughs> like, it literally looks like an armadillo. And since I mean I'm the most basic person in the world, out of this whole palette with all these pretty colors, this is totally upside down right now. I'm using this one, which is the most basic simple one, which describes me. I'm using a flat shader brush. It's called Marzipan. Oh, it smells like chocolate. I don't even know how they can make this color smell like chocolate because it doesn't even look like chocolate. Now I really want to make chocolate. Can you even make chocolate? Sometimes I like stick my tongue out so that I can get the fallout in my mouth and I can taste it. Doing your makeup in front of a camera is so weird. Oh my god, it's my mouth. Tastes so good. Found this brush. It's by Morphe. It is the S6. It's like the perfect thing for like lining your eyes with an eyeshadow. So since I am not talented and can't do anything right in my life, I'm going to use this color. It's called Triple Fudge. One right there. And I'm just going to like slightly line outer half of my eye. I'm not going to wing it because like no talent at all. If I mess this up, I will sue myself. I don't even know how I could do that, but whatever. Even me can do this. Even I can do this. That's the correct grammar. Maybe it needs to. Be, oh, this is where I would mess up. That. Oh, I just. Uh, taking some marzipan, putting that on top of it. Maybe it'll cancel it. I definitely didn't. That's why we add more. See, makeup takes me like twice as long as normal people because I mess up so much. But I don't think there's such thing as a normal person, so that kind of makes me feel better about myself. Quit bomb my head. Quit bomb. Now I'm gonna use this brush I also got in my Ipsy bag. This is the Me 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 brush, and I'm just gonna brush off all that extra powder. I'm going to take Hula bronzer i normally take the chocolate soleil bronzer because like it smells like chocolate and tastes like chocolate so like highlight in my morning again like it's running out so i'm using this real techniques brush i haven't really used in a while but like recently i've started using it again and i'm just putting in the outsides of my face why did i say it like that my face my face i kind of do this like haphazardly i'm like this is like horrible but like no, no, no. every time i do this i'm like i look yeah god oh my god that looks so bad i always like to contour the double chin it doesn't do anything, but I'm like, in my mind, like, it totally works. So I'm definitely gonna need a blend because it looks horrible. But like, sometimes if I wanna go for like a little, like, contourish, I will use this brush. It's an artiste brush. Way too expensive. Don't recommend it. Do not have your debit card near you at three in the morning when you're watching YouTube videos about like really expensive things. Don't recommend it. Sometimes I think about that brush and I'm like, I could have bought so many nachos with that. Okay, and I'm gonna blend until this looks like not horrible so update it still looks horrible not as bad so we're just gonna pretend like i have my life together people see me and they're like god what's wrong with her? this blush is called achiote i believe it's by tart okay i really can't open this haha <laughs> oh Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. On camera, this might look decent, but don't worry. It looks horrible in person. Rest assured. For my highlighter, I always use champagne pop, so I kind of want to switch it up a little bit. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this color from the eyeshadow palette. It's called Champagne Truffle. And it's like an icy, pinky, shimmery shade. And I'm going to mix it with Highlight 01 from Laura Mercier. Golden pink can't really see it at all. Let's just go straight for the champagne truffle. Go big or go home. You can't really see it at all. Kind of hoping the highlight would distract from everything else in this video. I'm going to go on to eyebrow. Brow definer. I like it because it's bigger and it saves me time. Go big or go home. Am I right? I'm always right. Never wrong. Unless I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. Oh yeah, and I'm just gonna like fill this in. I don't really have a way of like filling it in. Mess it up every single time, which is cool. I feel like this eyebrow is a little bit more arched than this one. So what I do to fix that, I just go... Bam. Fix. World peace. Everything in my life is great now. Probably not. In my mind, it totally works, but it really doesn't. Like, I know it doesn't, but like, in my mind, I'm like, hey, it totally works. It saves me from fixing it and then, like, doing it horribly. Even though deep down, I know I'm like, oh, this is not good. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, yeah, it looks good. Botox done. But this is the reason why I think this makeup looked so good in the video is because I used lashes. This whole video is just me bashing my makeup skills. But what skills? I'm using the Ardell Wispy Lashes. I have already cut them. I've worn them. This is like my third time, so I don't know if they're gonna do so well. Oh, one is totally longer than the other. Lashes are sisters, not twins. Oh, how horrible can I do this? Let's see. I like to take a liquid liner. This is the tattoo liner from Kat Von D in the darkest color, which is Trooper. What I like to do is take a little line right here, just from the inner corner of my eye to where the lash starts, just so it looks more natural. Because sometimes I feel like you can totally tell where my lash starts. 
but I just ran it across the band. I wasn't planning on doing that, but I just did, so whatever. I'm using Benefit's Roller Lash because the packaging is really cute and I always get sucked in for that packaging. So as for lips, I like to eat a lot and I feel like a lip color just gets in the way of that. So I'm just going to apply a chapstick, which I forgot to bring in here, so we're not going to be applying a chapstick. Oh, actually, it's right here. Haha. <laughs> so this is from Glam Go. This is like their balm treatment. This is way too expensive, but like literally amazing. Ow, ow, ow. I just pinched myself in the... Mm. Here we go. That is the look. I hope that you guys liked it. Thumbs up if you did. And I know I'm really awful at makeup. And I know I keep like talking about how I'm awful at makeup. But like, let me know if you want me to do more makeup videos. And if there's any other videos that you guys want to see, let me know. And I love you so, so, so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.